Hey guys, I'd like to welcome you back to a new season of SVTP Tooltech videos. We're going to start things off this year in a pretty interesting way. We've got this cooler, and I know you're thinking, tools, cooler? Well, trust me, this will be great. We have the Turret 30 Can Backpack Cooler. So it's like a soft-sided cooler. I know you guys have seen similar things to this, but this one, trust me, ton of great features. The first thing, it's ridiculously thick. Very well made, very nice construction. It uses this high density foam material as insulation. And this stuff is really, really thick and resilient. It's pretty good quality stuff. And then the outer shell is a thermoplastic that's thermally welded at all the seams. So there's no glue or anything like that holding it together. All these things, all the accessories are thermally welded on. So it's a lot like a uh, Hypalon rib style boat. So if you guys are in, uh, familiar with rigid inflatable boats, it's made of a very similar material as Hypalon. So what makes this thing special as a cooler? Well, it's a backpack for one thing. So you can strap this thing on and wear it. And uh, I'm sure if you put 30 cans of beer in, and like I said, beer, if you put 30 cans of beer in the thing, it's probably gonna be pretty heavy. So if you guys have ever hiked with a heavy backpack or anything like that, you know it can pull you back. Well, the great thing about this is you have chest straps, so that helps distribute the load a little bit more evenly. So I told you it had a lot of cool features. The things that I like about it are the things that other brands of coolers out there, some of which I own, would make you buy as accessories this thing comes with. So you have a bottle opener, which you're probably gonna need. That's great, a lot of companies would make you buy this for like 10, 15 bucks to put it on there, but this one has it. And you have these waterproof pockets on the side here. These things are watertight and I, I just pulled this thing out of the box so it still has its packing foam and everything in it. But you can see if you take the foam out, the packaging material, still holds its shape well and everything so you can keep all your phones, things like that in there and it'd be completely watertight. I asked if uh, this thing can float because it looks like it could. It looks like it's watertight. I'm sure if you had just beer or ice or something like that in it that's uh, uh, buoyant in water with this much foam in it for insulation, it should float. So I asked the company, the thing float? They said, nah, fill it up and test it. So we may do that later but I just wanted to go through the features with you first. So we've got these nice waterproof pockets on either side, and we've got the mold type straps here so you can put pretty much anything you'd want that would fit on, uh, say your gun case or something like that. And on the bottom, you have straps as well that'll extend out for putting say like a towel or a blanket or something like that. If you're going to the beach and you wanted to have a blanket or a towel, you can pull these straps out and it'll hold it on the bottom. So that's a pretty neat feature. Everything is uh, very heavy duty construction on it, has uh, like seat belt style attachments, the actual material for the belts here. It's like a car seat belt and everything is heavily stitched. You have a uh, sort of grippy rubber back so where it would fit against your back so it's not, if you were wearing it and it's heavy, it's not gonna be sliding around all over the place, it's gonna have a little bit of traction to hold on. So they say this thing holds 30 cans or 35 pounds of ice, 4.2 gallons in total interior volume. Uh, if you want to know the exterior dimensions, it is 13.8 uh, inches by 10 inches by 17.7 inches. So you could probably carry this on the plane if you wanted to as your carry-on luggage. Uh, inside dimensions are going to be 12 inches by 7.5 inches by 14.6 inches. And then there's a ton of information on this card and everything about uh, all the various uses and all that good stuff. So moving on, there's a few other features I'd like to show you. It comes with a strap that you can put on it in these locations on the side here. And then you can carry it sort of over the shoulder. Um, personally, I don't think I would use it that way. I think I'll use it more as a backpack, but I may put it on just to try this out. That could be a, a pretty good feature. And it comes with these really nice heavy duty plastic attachments to hold on here. So we'll put those on later. And then it comes with some more attachment points and zipper lubricant. So I don't know if you guys have ever had to lube your zippers, but this stuff comes with it and for good reason. 
If you notice the main zipper on it, you got two finger holes because this thing is ridiculously tight. So it helps to have the two finger hold to zip it up. And now it's, it's rock solid. It's a very well made piece. So I know you guys are thinking, how well does it work? Well, we're gonna find that out. I've got a case of one of my favorite beers here, Sweetwater, and if you guys would like to sponsor the channel, feel free to reach out to us. But this is not a paid endorsement. <laughs> this is just one of the beers that I happen to like. I uh, picked this stuff up at Costco. It's like 30 bucks for a 24 pack of 16 ounce cans. So anytime you can get pounders for that price, go for it. So we're gonna put 12 of those in this and then pack the rest of it full of ice. And then I'm going to drive to Detroit and see what lasts longer, the ice or the beer. I'm not gonna drink and drive though. I'm gonna drink the beer when I get there. So that's an 800 mile trip. We'll see how well it holds ice on the way there. So let's go fill it up. So like I said, we're gonna do a test on this thing. So I have my ice, I have my beer, I have my cooler. Let's put the three together. We're gonna to see how long that the ice will last. I have a 10 pound bag and 12 pounds of beer and this cooler. So let's get started. Open the thing up and just check out the insulation in this thing. You can see the section width, uh, width on it here and on the sides too. It's very thick, so I have high hopes for it. I have a, uh, a bag cooler sort of similar to this, but it is not nearly as well made as this thing is. And uh, I don't even put ice in it. it uh, I don't have a whole lot of faith in it staying watertight, to be honest with you. But this one, I think it's gonna be fine. So, we have 12 16 ounce cans, we have 12 pounds of beer, I have a 10 pound bag of ice. I don't think this is gonna fill it up to the tippy top, but we'll see. And of course, since it's fresh ice, I have to bust it. And now we can pour it. Now granted, we're doing this uh, little test in January, early January 2019. So I'm not here to say that it's super hot outside or anything. So this is probably the best scenario for this thing. It's probably gonna hold ice a really long time, even if it wasn't that good. But I think it is pretty damn good. And the fact that it's cold outside, it's probably just gonna prolong this test. In fact, I almost guarantee that I will run out of beer before I run out of ice. But it'll be fun just to see anyways. And maybe uh, summertime rolls around South Carolina and it's 90 plus degrees, we'll do this again. So as you can see, with just one layer of pounders on the bottom, a 10 pound bag of ice won't fill it quite up. So good thing I bought an extra bag. So I'm gonna go grab that and then top it off. And then we're gonna see which one runs out first, the ice or the beer. I have a feeling it's gonna be the beer. So somebody thought it'd be a good idea to start making cocktails already. So I have about a quarter of a bag left of this one. So let's go ahead and just beat it like it owes us money and pour it in. So that's pretty well full. Um, there's maybe an inch of space left. I uh, plan on throwing some uh, cold cuts and things like that on top of it anyways, uh, just to have a snack for the trip. Cause it's 800 mile drive and I'm gonna get hungry along the way. So I'm gonna just call that good. So we figure there's 10 pounds plus another quarter of a bag. So there's 12-ish you know, pounds of ice on top of 12 pounds of beer. So let's zipper up and I uh, probably will not be breaking back into this thing until sometime after five o'clock tomorrow. It's gonna sit in the vehicle overnight though, because I'm just gonna go ahead and pack it now. I'm leaving early in the morning. So I attached the shoulder strap, but like I said, I don't think I'll use that uh, all that often, probably just when I'm one hand carrying it around is when this will be handy. But uh, let's go ahead and just put it on as a backpack and see how heavy it actually is. So. 
It's nice to have it on the toolbox to have a position to lift it off from. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the chest strap. And uh, yeah, it's heavy. It's not really that bad though. Just need to adjust the straps a little bit more on it. And the chest strap I think could use to be just a hair tighter. This is a really nice uh, system though. Straps are really nice quality and the chest strap is a little elastic. So yeah, it's heavy. As you would expect, there's 24, 25 pounds in it. It's not, uh, it's not really uncomfortable though. I'm surprised. Uh, it is uh, hitting me a little bit in the lower back just because it's sort of tilted back. But I think if I adjusted the straps more to get it higher up on my back, uh, that, that would all level out and it would be fine. So the question is, would I want to go hiking in the mountains with this thing? I probably wouldn't, but I don't go hiking in the mountains all that much anyway. So uh, I think it'd be great for at the track, especially at the track. This would be fantastic, especially if you're just going from your car to the stands or something like that. You know, you know, hoofing in a mile on fairly flat ground would not be a big deal with 25, 30 pounds of beer and ice in the back. So yeah, I think it's a pretty good design and pretty well made. So let's just see how long it can keep my beer cold. So it's been about 20 hours since I filled the cooler up. I opened it one more time last night just to put uh, some uh, lunch meat in it as a snack. Like I said, this zipper is stiff. But you can see how well it's held ice overnight. Like I said, it's not been uh, super uh, warm out or anything. I left it in the vehicle overnight but I'm gonna grab my first beer out of it. We're at a place you can hang out for a little bit. And as you can see, ice cold. Put the ice pack down in and uh, open it again when we want another beer. And like I said, we're gonna see which one lasts longer, the beer or the ice. I'm guessing the ice does. And by the way, it's uh, pretty cold out where we are, you can see quite a bit of snow and it's coming down. This is uh, winter in West Virginia on our way to the Detroit Auto Show. We're headed to the Detroit Auto Show. Check out the new GT500. And I can't believe I left the beach to drive through this. The things I do for you people. So I finally arrived in Detroit got my turret backpack cooler put it in the garage and I'm ready for my second beer so let's see how the ice is held up by the way that's kind of an ice car isn't it yeah I think it might be for sale well, let's see what we got Once again, this super, super tight but that's what makes it such a quality piece and check that out barely any melt at all that's pretty impressive so let's get a beer and go to bed you guys saw in the video a little bit of snow on the way up here from South Carolina a trip that should have took 12 hours took 15 not exactly the most fun, but this will make it worth it. Well, we're about 52 hours in, and granted, like I said, we're keeping it in a garage, and it is a little chilly in here, so it's gonna perform better than it would in the summer, but let's take a look and get a drink. I'd say it's still doing pretty good. My turkey's for later. Sweetwater 420. I definitely think we're going to run out of beer first. Until tomorrow. So it's been about an hour since the last video, and it is time for beer number four. Yeah, I'm keeping these zipped up, but let me just unzip it 
before I start filming because it's a huge pain to zip this thing up one-handed because the zipper you can see is super tight <laughs> It works well. Still holding ice well. Let's see. Sweet water triple tail. This stuff's really good. So it's been about 76 hours now since we filled it up, so let's take a look. Set the camera down here. Not bad. Now granted, it is kind of cold in this garage and it's insulated, but still cold. Had a little bit of melt. You can see some more of it out here, but not bad. Still haven't broke into that turkey yet. It's time's coming though. Okay, it's been 96 hours since we filled it up and uh, we still got ice. Do you have any particular preference on beer? No, I'm okay. Okay. This is good. These are not very sturdy beers. I don't know if you've noticed that. I've not seen it now. But yeah, we're still going nice. Yeah. How many beers do I have left? Oh, this is I only have four beers left. All right, we're at 121 hours. You can see there's still, still ice in here. We've got a pretty good amount of melting, but not too bad. Mm, looks like two beers left and some turkey. It's about 124 hours now. You can see it's still plenty of ice. Good and cold. We're at 146 hours and we still have ice. And I am about to enjoy the that next to last beer. Is it? Oh. Yep, 146 hours. Wow. Still has ice. Okay, we're at 148 hours since we filled it up. Put about 12 pounds of ice in. And still have ice. We still have some turkey. I'm gonna have to eat this at some point. But this is my last beer. So I guess that means we have successfully passed the test. Finished all the beer before all the ice melted. Not bad, turret cooler. Not bad at all. So if you guys like the looks of this turret backpack cooler and you're interested in picking up one for yourself, I have the link to Amazon in the description to this exact model. Also, just so happens, I have another one. We're gonna be giving this one away on svtperformance.com. So if you guys would like to win a free one, and this thing's not cheap, it's about 180 bucks, but it's worth it because the quality is top notch. It's really, really nicely made. And like I said, a lot of great features. So if you'd like to win one of your own for free, check out the description. There's a link to svtperformance.com with all the details of how you can win this, plus a full write-up of our review of this one. So click the link in the description and head over to svtperformance.com to enter to win your very own Tourit Backpack Cooler and also check out the latest in news, reviews, and information for your favorite Ford Performance vehicles and all the aftermarket parts to go with them. Till next time.